Howdy. I'm going to Baylor University next year. Yeah. So, I'm so excited about the opportunities that God is going to give me to reach others there. Um, just a couple things I want to talk to you guys about tonight. I'm going to keep it short and sweet because I'm afraid I'm going to cry or laugh or whatever. It's just so much emotion tonight. Um, first of all, I want to comment on how much love there is in this room um, and how much Christ is working in this group of individuals. Um, it's just so amazing to see that. It's such a blessing for me to be a part of this youth group. Um, first of all, um, humility. That's. I wish there was a whole lot more of that. Um, I can't tell y'all how much it would pay off for y'all to be humble in your lives because when you're prideful, it's a poor reflection of the condition of your heart. Um, and you never know how many people, how many friends you can make and how many people you can reach. Um, another thing is... One of my good, one of my mentors told me one time, uh, Evan Eason, he said, uh, yeah, you need to find your nothingness. And what I mean by that is in that goofy new Russian girl <laughs> touched on it tonight and on the stage. Uh, it, nothing else matters, and that's what we need to get to the point. Um, you know, not grades, not achievements. Um, and our confidence is not in that. Um, we need to get to the point where, you know, nothing else matters but your relationship with God. Um, and so, um, oh, and then another thing, uh, I would challenge each of y'all to, um, reach out to others. Um, I'm the kind that, like, wants to be friends with everybody. Um, I pray that, I pray, my prayer is for y'all that, um, y'all would, um, reach out to those that may not be as cool or whatever that, that word means, or, um, just to be friends with everybody and to reach out to everybody. Um, to all you guys here. I love you all in bed. We wish you all the best of luck. Better you know, next year. And, uh, yeah. I love you guys too. <laughs> Serving the Lord, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with God's people who are in need, practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice, mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, do not be willing to associate with people of low position, but do not be deceived. Um, when we went through that in family group on uh, Wednesday night, I just felt really conv convicted. Um, I felt like I, um, tonight, I brought the to and brought the point of tears. It's one of those 50 first half hours of service. But, uh, I just encourage you all to not let your pride get in the way of making your relationships. Like, I know there's so many more people out there that I would love to reach or love to get to know. And it honestly breaks my heart and makes me sick that I didn't let my pride get in the way of, of making your relationships. So that's my encouragement to y'all. To all my friends in the same class, love y'all. Yeah. Um, well, I have a piece of worldly advice and spiritual advice. Um, I think one of the biggest things that I wish 
that I would have been prepared for um, in a worldly sense is um, what senior year would be like. And I think um, everybody kind of talks about it like it's going to be a big blow off year and it's like just to have fun with your friends and have your last everything. But um, I didn't really prepare myself for the emotional and the physical decisions that I had to make this year. And um, it is, it, it, it does take a lot of emotions to get through your senior year. There's a lot of sad things and there's a lot of decisions that you have to make. And um, there were a lot of times where I just had to um, like get down on my knees and just pray because I had no idea what I was doing. And, and so um, I think God really taught me this year that um, not to go into things with a whole lot of expectations because all of my expectations of senior year were kind of broken at the beginning. And I'm glad that they were because it taught me to rely a lot more on God and realize that um, pretty much everything that I think I know, I don't. And um, it humbled me a lot. And I was thankful that I got the chance to just really fully rely on God um, in that situation. And then um, two spiritual pieces of advice. Um, I One of my favorite books of the Bible is James. And it's because he talks so much about relating to others. And I'm so passionate about um, relationships with people because I think that's how the world the world is based around relations with people. And um, so we talked about this in family group this week about how um, the tongue is the um, one thing on this earth that cannot be tamed by man. And it's so powerful. And I think we don't give it up. We don't pay attention to that enough. And so um, a verse that's really been on my heart pretty much the um, whole time in the youth group is that um, what comes out of your mouth is from the overflow of your heart. And so um, something that's uh, really convicted me is that I don't like to say, oh, I didn't mean that, I was just kidding, because um, that's more of a, you need to check your heart and see where your heart is. And so that's a really important verse to me, and I think um, it should be to everybody because it's um, really important to watch what you say because it actually affects people a lot more than you think. And then also... We talked a lot in our family group about suffering and how um, God promises that you will suffer and you will be persecuted because of your faith. And um, something that I think has been the biggest blessing to me is uh, being getting involved in service through our church, just um, involved in the middle school choir. And it's kind of cool how when you serve and you give of yourself to other groups, you get so much more in return than if I hadn't done those things. And I'm so thankful that I have the opportunity to be um, a servant in different areas, and honestly, I learned so much more from uh, seventh and eighth graders than I ever did when I wasn't with them, and so um, I'm just really thankful for um, God promises that if you submit yourself to him and if you do what he calls you to do, that he will bless you and that he will teach you so much, and so I'm just really thankful for getting involved and investing in the lives of others because they um, invest in me just as much, if not more. So I really encourage you guys to do that too.